Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the Pathfinder Trailblazer course that I've been talking about in previous videos. Today I'm just going to um, explain what it is and what you do. Um, because one of my subscribers commented in, um, I think it was the coffee video, the coffee and fire lighting video, someone asked about it. So I thought I would explain and just tell you guys what it's about. Um, so Dave Cantonbury set it up. Um, he set up, I think it's three, three stages. So this is the first one that I'm on, the Trailblazer course. Um, it's got 19 tasks in it and they're all to do with bushcraft and the outdoors. Um, it ranges from fire making to knife skills to, to cooking on the fire, um, all different things, knots. So the course is mainly set up for young people but um, I think that any it could suit anyone doing it because it's it is quite a difficult course and it teaches you a lot of skills um, throughout. So I think it's definitely something that everyone should just go and have a look at. Today I'm going to do one of the tasks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them all in all different videos and carry on doing them. I'll see, see how it goes, um, but today I'm going to do how to do a tripod and the knots and the lashes and the frapping that you have to do. Um, I think a tripod's really good for when you've got a fire and you want to hang your kettle off it or hang cloves to dry them out. Um, it's good for all different things really. You could even make a really big one that's bigger than what we're going to do today and you could do it as a shelter, you could cover it in leaves and weave sticks through it and you could make a big teepee shelter. Um, so this isn't the first task of the list, it's just one of the many. Um, so I'm going to start on that today, stay tuned. So what it says, it, um, it's number 10 on the list, it says photos of a complete tripod with 2 inch sticks 4 foot long um, that shows a proper tripod lash beginning with a timber hitch and ending with a clothes hitch. Clothes now hitch. I've just cut two sticks, these are made out of pine. Um, so they're four, they're four foot long and two inch wide I reckon. So I'm just gonna cut one more. I'm gonna start lashing. going to start off with a timber hitch on my first stick. So what we do, there's two ways of doing it. There's one where you do the loop and you pull the whole lot through, like keep going until it's all through. But I'm going to do it the other way. Start off with a timber hitch go round like that 
go round and we loop it through six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and pull that tight. timber hitch done and now we're going to start lashing the three bits of wood together. Line the three bits of wood up and you're basically going to go under and over so keeping it nice and tight six times and you frap six times. my lashing my lashing done now I'm going to start frapping and I've got a frapping stick here so that you can really pull tight and use it as a lever for pulling I'm going to come up around the back and you go round each bit four times and you use your frapping stick wrap it round and pull tight to get it really tight you do this four times just go under bring all your rope through get your frapping stick and pull Make sure you don't pull too tightly because um, the tripod won't be able to, the legs won't be able to separate if it's really, really tight. So it's got to be firmly tight but not really tight, if you get me. Just once more round. Done. Now we go underneath here. I'm going to finish off with a clove hitch. Underneath here, get round again. Go 
make a crisscross like that. We go back under again. You go underneath both of the crosses, underneath both bits of rope. Pull tight. So really, if you wanted to make it tidy, you'd put an overhand knot, which is just this, just a normal knot, but I'm not going to cut my rope off because I'm just demonstrating. Started off with the timber hitch lashed six times, frapped six times and finished with a clove hitch with an overhand knot. Um, so you're meant to cut your rope but I don't want to cut my rope. Um, so after you, after it's like that, lay it out. like that. Um, so obviously you do away um, on this rope. So you have it. It's really secure. It's going to hold a lot of weight and um, so I can alter how the different how different levels I want it. Bring it right out. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video of how to make a tripod. Please go and um, check out the Pathfinder Trailblazer course. I think it's good to do. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.